Hi and welcome to Pete's really simple WordPress creator software video demo. I'll get straight into it. This is the software application here. Notice that there are no more, there is only one file in this directory. I'll come back to it later and show you what the other files are that it adds. This is the software here. Take note that we have the old account tab. In this tab you can add previously created WordPress blogs, the account name and the password to add further articles to it at any time in the future. Here for the account name, choose a keyword relevant account name. Use only, only letters, no spaces, no dashes, no dots. I will be creating articles based on the wedding theme, so I'll do use an eight character password, letters and numbers. You need to enter one unique email address for each WordPress blog created. You also need to add two RSS feeds. These are displayed in the right, in the columns of the WordPress blog we're about to create via the widget. So this blog will display the links to any feeds that you present here. I'll just pause it and pop them in now. Okay, I just added the feeds to peteswso.com and peterdrew.net. Now I click on add article. What's important here is the title of the first article you add will also be the name of the category that we store your articles in on the new WordPress blog created. So choose this first title wisely. So see, Really, just with one blog, I'm promoting three sites, peteswso.com, peterdrew.net, and thearticlesense.com. What's important here is that you cannot add any div tags in WordPress blogs. WordPress will reject any articles that you submit that have div tags like that in it. So make sure you strip any of your, strip your HTML of the div tags and it's important that you only place HTML in this article body here for them to be presented correctly in the WordPress blogs. I'll go ahead and add, add a bunch of articles now, you don't need to watch that, I'll be back in a tick. Okay, I just added six articles so I can come back at a later date and add more articles to this blog at any time using this software. So just click on start. Now the software is talking to wordpress.com and creating, a, creating an account based on the information we supplied at the account name, email address and password. Done. It's now creating the category. It's randomly selecting one of 13 themes to use. It's also creating the tags that will go in the bottom of each article post. Interestingly, the tags are created from each individual word in the title that you put with each article. This helps greatly on WordPress having tons and tons of tags. Okay, now it's posting the six articles. I'll pause it now, but it generally takes about 20 seconds per article to post. Okay, done. For your information, that took un under a minute. Okay. It is now displaying the RSS feed for the blog we've just created and it's also posted the URL to the WordPress blog we've just created. Okay, so we'll just click on the link to the WordPress blog and check it out. There you go, there's the title of the blog. Here on the in the column down the side are the links from the RSS feeds that I, that I put in there. If you check out down here in the status bar, you see peteswso.com, 
peterdrew.net, etc, etc. If you scroll down, you'll see the category winning themes and the recent posts. There's the links, <coughs> excuse me, the hyperlinks that I'll put within the articles. So this blog is effectively promoting three sites at once, which is pretty cool. There you go. What's really cool is if you open this up in Internet Explorer, as I have done, you're automatically logged in. So you can go around and play with the settings if you like. You can. If you don't like the um, theme, you can change it to another. Make sure you choose a theme that has the column displaying your RSS feeds or RSS widgets. It's very cool. What's really great with the software is now I've made this site, I've got the RSS feed. Next time I create a blog, I'll put the RSS feed of this site in the software and post the links to this blog in the next blog I create and that can just go on forever. Now I'll close this off and go back to see we've got two more files here. This file stores the account name of each blog that you create. Every time you create a new blog it will just go down here further and further. So it records the account name and the password so you can go back at any time and update these blogs with new content. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you purchase this software, you will also get access to my report where I explain RSS jerking. This using the software software plus my previous software is the best way to get the full potential out of your RSS feeds.